Race 8, and finally not a graded event, is the Silver Cup Handicap Chase here at Ascot. Another three mile event, so 0 to 130, so 1, Meb, but Meb Suter, Norma for James Shea, Fanlow for Darren Thompson, Astro Gold for Craig Beckwith, Latin Mother for Kevin Meadham, America for Paul O'Neill, Cry to Me, Daniel French, Serafina Cerise for Hems, Seaview Premium for Paul O'Neill, Sawway De La Mer for Alex Cherry along with McBurney, Native Apache for Pontypool Racing, Alan Mayer Bender for Thomas Rogers, Anglo Saxon for Paul Rogers, Paul Rogers, Paul Rhodes, sorry, Poppy Elise for Martin Leadham, and Dromore Hill for Ryan Costello. Silver Cup handicap chase here at Ascot. Stunner's has got him away. And he gets straight to the first plain fence. Everybody gets over it. A couple of slow jumps towards the rear. See if you premium didn't get over it particularly well. We're going to wait for him to settle down. See who wants to lead us into the second. It looks like it's going to be Solway de la Mer with Poppy Elisi. All over that was a really poor jump there by Nepsuta Norma and James Shea. Jockey to hang on. So it is Solway de la Mer from Poppy Elise as they get to the first of the ditches. The leaders are over it. And we've got Alnair Bender in the green silks. Out wide is McBurney. He's on his own, which is Suta Norma. They all go over the fourth. Jumping ideally here. A little bit of a change up front as Poppy Elise and McBurney. Solway de la Mer on the inside. In between those is Alnair Bender. So it's these four that are leading us. And a couple of links back to Nepsuta Norma. America on his outside. Oh no, America's the grey, widest of all. Anglo Saxon in there, Serafina Cerise. Line of horses, Native Apache, Latin Lover, Dromore Hill. Fanlo. They get to the sixth. Oh, sorry, the fifth. They're getting all over it. There's a few pecking on landing here. They get to the sixth. Skip over that as well. Just at the rear at the moment is Dromore Hill, Seaview Premium, Latin Lovers. They take the seventh. A bit of a John, we've lost one there. Anglo Saxon's gone. Lucky Paul. They get to the eighth. We'll skip over that. The fence has come pretty quick and fast here. There's 20 to take. And it's McBurney, Poppy Alisi, and Alnair Bender. It's followed through by Selway Dillon there in America the Great. And Serafina Cerise, McBoots, and Norma. And green silks, one with a darker red cap. Is uh, their boots are normal, I think. And one horse. We've got Native Apache up against the fence of Graham. The outside of that is Cry to Me. Latin Lover. And we'll take the ninth. And what is over it? Poor jumper there. Oh, Poppy Elise has gone. I missed that. Shipped his jockey. And he's out of the race. Unlucky Martin. So it leaves two Alex Jerry horses up front. Subway so Delamere and McBurney. I think they are back to Alnair Bender. And America against the fence. The green silks have met Boots and Norma and Serafina Cerise as they take the last in the home straight, which will be the last next time round. As you can see, we're heading towards the finishing line. And it's going to be Solway de la Mer and McBurney that are going to take us past. A few from the grandstand. And there they go on out again. So it's Solway de la Mer and McBurney from Almere Bend Up. Suta Norma, loose horse in between those as America is against the fence on the outside of those Seraphina Cerise then Cry to Me, followed through by Fanlo, Latin Lover and Astro Gold. Out wide now is Native Approach, Apache, <laughs> and then a couple back to Seaview Premium and Dromore Hill. So we just lost two, gone through half the fences. We'll take the 11th, and Bernie didn't get over it well. It's about Solway de la Mer. The lead on his own by a good couple of lengths. You want me losing sight off now? See view premium and drone more here as they get to the twelfth. The leaders are all over it. Between the ones at the rear. But it is Solway de la Mer still from McBurney. A few lengths back to America the Great. We get to the ditch the thirteenth. No unlucky. Oh, and we did. We lost one there. Met suit to Norma for James Shea has gone. Unlucky. So we're down three. Leaders take the 14th, so there's still a further six fences to take. As they come inside the final mile. It is Sir Wade de la Mer from McBurney, America. The green silks are Serafina, Cerise, Latin Lover, and Alnair Bender all together. Just on the outside of that is David Thompson's Fanlo. Followed through by Cry to Me. Inside of that is Native Apache. 
lovely swing finally. Top right hand bend now. Six furlongs to go. Whoa, and so may wear. So way down there. The leader took uh, a big old chance on that one, but gets over it. Lost his lead. Rides into the 16th. Another poor jump and has allowed America to just move up on his outside. Solway de la Mer needs to steady himself into this ditch. He does get over it better, but we're still going to be led now by America with Solway de la Mer on his inside. But Bernie under a little bit of pressure right now. Native Apache is making up some good ground. The other one that's moved really well now is Latin Lover. Moving well on the outside is Serafina Sarice to throw down a challenge to the lead inside the final half mile. But he's going to have to take on Solway de la Mer in America, and he does. He takes it up now. So it is Serafina Sarice by a length and a half pulling away from America. Solway de la Mer, Latin Lover running on now is Native. Of Apache. It's going to be between these, I imagine, as we come inside the three. So it's Serafina Cerise by about four. Gets to the 19th, gets over it just about. So he's only got one left to jump. The one coming out of the pack to try and catch him is going to be Native Apache. But we've only got a quarter of a mile to go, and it's Serafina Cerise by about four from Native Apache. America hasn't got anything left. Fanmo needs to do a little bit, but starting to make up some ground. As they get down to the final one, it's Serafina Cerise is getting caught in the heavy ground here. Gets Takes the jump better from Native Apache. America trying to run on. So there's a furlong left to go, and it's Native Apache that takes it up now. With Fan Mo on his outside, these two are running on. America's trying to get on, back into it, but it's Native Apache by half a length from Fan Mo. We're inside the final hundred yards. It's Native Apache, Fan Mo. These between these two, Native Apache and Fan Mo go over the line together. All oh, right, to split those two. Oh, wow. but look at the replay. Clutterbuck and Thompson photo. Let's see who got it. Fanlo might well just have got up there. Darren Thompson might well have taken it from a native Apache. America hung on for third. So it is Fanlo by a short head takes it for Darren Thompson. Well done. Native Apache Pontypool Race has just hung on for well, a bad luck second, should we say. America for Paul O'Neill was third. Serafina Cerise for Craig was fourth. And Latin lover for Kevin Meenahan run on well for fifth.